Devrajaras played a reverse game. So therefore, he is now the he is seen as a messiah of the OBCs in Karnataka. Although he was a Kshatriya, he was an aristocrat belonging to the Mysore royal family. He completely stitches up the OBCs in Karnataka and keeps the Okaligas, a bit of the Okaligas and a section of the Lingayats, the most oppressed Lingayats with him and forms a government magically. And his community, probably there were 25,000 people, which is you know, unthinkable in today's Karnataka and rules the state for the longest period, you know, almost a decade, eight to nine years. He is there in the helm and emergency is also part of his legacy in Karnataka. But unlike the other places where you heard complaints during the emergency, Devarajaras was the most generous, most uh, you know, munificent and the most uh, accommodating chief minister during the emergency era, which he uses to bring about maximum reforms in Karnataka. So he brings in backward class reservation. He does the land reform. Lacks and lacks of you know, land gets redistributed to the poor of Karnataka. So he becomes a darling of the masses. And Indira Gandhi is finally dependent on a Devrajaras for her political revival. And that's the Chikmangalore election of 1978. So except for this experiment of 10 years, when all the chief ministers who were to become I mean, all the leaders who were to later become chief ministers were all created by him. For example, Bangarappa, uh, Malikarjun Karge, a potential chief minister, was groomed by him. Virappa Moili was a small time advocate somewhere in sm some small, uh, you know, I mean, uh, sessions court in uh, Karkala or somewhere else, a uh, small court, and he picks him up, gives him a ticket, and gets him elected. And he becomes the chief minister later. Bangarappa grows up as a mass leader of the OBCs. And, you know, people, Dharam Singh, Karge, and Sidramaya also, you know, always wanted to present himself as the second reincarnation of Aras and all that. So he, so the leadership, he was a great leadership scout. He created new leadership in Karnataka, changed the game entirely, but played the social engineering, social justice, egalitarian game. 